Dr. B.S. Bordem rakes in 6.6 .6 million rand annually for the Northwest Province in tourism. Despite this, an invasive alien plant that has contaminated the dam over the years serves as an eyesore and a potential health hazard for the biodiversity in the water. To tackle this, the Water and Sanitation Department tasked experts from Rhodes University to release weevil insects into the dam as part of a project to control the contamination biologically. You'll recall that in the Hartis Dam in early January, there was plenty of fish that actually died here. And that is largely because of the issue that Prof. Julie was referring to uh, in and around the inability of the water resource in itself to have oxygen because what these alien invasive species do is that they do suck out the oxygen. And this is mostly because of the high nutrient load that is in the water. And as such, we're finding ourselves in a situation where the ecosystem is obviously compromised, um, you know, recreation is compromised, um, and by and large, the general state of the local economy is also compromised because of the alien invasive species. The only impact is going to be positive. These bugs, um, or weevils, they're not actually bugs, these weevils can only feed on the plant um, that, that you see behind me. So their entire life cycle, they lay eggs on this plant, they feed on this plant, um, they die on this plant, and if this plant dies, they will die as well. So they will not go and attack any ornamental plants, they won't attack crop plants, they won't attack any other aquatic plants because their life cycle is, is very constrained by the, by the plant that, that, they, that they are specific to. Currently there are two interventions to read the artist dam of invasive plants that have plagued the dam for so long. One is the physical removal of the plants and Mahalis water is also an implementing agent using nanobubble technology intervention to oxygenate the dam water and to rid it of the plants. Deputy Water and Sanitation Minister has attributed this contamination to a mismanagement of resources at municipalities upstream. He says his department plans to amend the Water Act to enable them to prosecute municipal officials liable for the pollution of this significant water resource. We're talking about Mohale City, we're talking about City of Johannesburg, we're talking about City of Egurulen, uh, uh, you know, all the metros, including uh, uh, smaller municipalities in Gauteng. So it's not really naming and shaming, it's just placing on record that this is what the Green Drop Report has, has, has provided in terms of um, the, the, the state of the uh, wastewater treatment works infrastructure across municipalities in the country. We've got 332 of them that are dysfunctional across the country. Experts say within 24 months there should be a marked difference in the RTB export them thanks to this project. Offense Timo, SABC News, Artis.